Hi folks and hello with humans. A new package has arrived and let us look what is inside. I know this is a book that is what I can say at the moment but let us look what for a book this is. I, I think I don't need my carpet knife. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look what we here have. <laughs> Conan the phenomenon. I'm very appished about this. In German we speak from uh, appishedness. <laughs> yeah, this, this is uh, one of the most important books for every Conan and Robert E. Howard fan. <laughs> uh. Conan. The title is in goldenen Lettern, in, in golden Lettern, the phenomenon. It's not Conan the Barbarian, it's Conan the Phenomenon. But it's Conan the Barbarian, the phenomenon. The legacy of Robert A. Howard's fantasy icon. This is from Paul M. Salmon and with a foreword by Michael Moorcock. Yeah, Michael Moorcock is the author from uh, Eric and his sword Stormbringer. And Paul M. Salmon, um, I think um, he is uh, involved in movies. Huh? Here we have a powerful dark picture from Frank Vazetta. <laughs> oh, Conan is here so ugly. <laughs> but this is a powerful picture. Ah, here, the book is from Dark Horse. Here we have uh, three interpretations of Conan. Uh, the, the interpretation in comics in the past, in the movie, and uh, I think it's a new interpretation in comics. Uh, but um, I find this at the best. Uh, the old one. And here we have two statements from good old authors from Sword and Sorcery. Michael Moorcock and Fritz Leiber, or Fritz Lieber is the author from Fafrat and the Grey Moser. Okay. Uh, here we have a, a little upreap. But it's okay. So now I I remove the dust jacket. In German we say to the dust jacket Staubjacke. 
Oh, Schutzumschlag. <lacht> Away with this. Yeah, here, this is what I say. <laughs> Paul M. Salmon is a filmmaker, writer, and photographer. <laughs> Ask me, I know it. Uh, so, yeah. And giving in letter two. Okay, here, this, this one is, is a little bit a harm. And here are the letters uh, to press in it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. Okay, here we have a, a little damage. But the corners, all the corners are in a good condition. And the complete other of the book is a good condition. I buy it as used because this is out of print and now let us draw uh, a look inside. Oh, look at this. this is a, a very important book for every Conan R and Robert E. Howard fan. Look at this picture. Uh, I look at this picture and I know from uh, what story this is. This is from the story um, Beyond the Black River. Uh, yes. I think this is uh, from, from the artist Gregory Manches. Uh, I think so. Dark Horse uh, in Milwaukee. From Milwaukee, okay. First edition, September twenty seven, twenty oh seven. Yeah, barbarism is a natural state of mankind. Civilization is unnatural. It is a whim of circumstance. And barbarism must always ultimately triumph. <laughs> this is what I say here. Beyond the Black River. Like this picture. I translate this a little bit in German for my German look here. Barbarentum ist die natürliche Art der Menschheit. Zivilisation ist unnatürlich. Es ist eine Laune der Umstände. Und Barbarentum wird jederzeit triumphieren. Hither <lacht> kam Conan, the Cimmerian. Black-haired, sullen-eyed, sword in the hand, aspect from the Nemedian Chronicles. Yeah, hierher kam Conan, der Chimeria, schwarzhaarig, mürrischen Blickes, das Schwert in der Hand. Ein Auszug aus den Nemedischen Chroniken. Yeah. Conan version of Mike Mignola. And here we here have the foreword from Michael Moorcock Conan, an American phenomenon. Yeah, this is a powerful picture of the new interpretation from Dark Horse. Ah, yeah. This is um, a picture about the story there was never written by Robert E. Howard, but um, but in the in the story beyond the Black River, Conan tell about the, his of his 
of this adventure. Yeah, this is uh, his first attack to the Fort Tuscalan. And the Fort Tuscalan have a, a important role in the story beyond the Black River. Yeah, and this one it can be a picture from the story The Frost Giant's Daughter, maybe. The good old Arnie. A thief, a warrior, a gladiator, a king. Ah, I like this. Uh, black and white sketches. This one. Yeah. So, and this is Robert E. Howard. Uh, here we, are, we can see him as a young, strong man, but here he is a little bit, a um, little bit uh, post packing. But uh, I think this is one of the latest pictures from him before he died. Yeah, on only 30 years of life. Uh, young Robert, his mother, his father. And this is uh, his home in in Texas. <laughs> Robert E. Howard as a boxer. <laughs> and here we can see him with his friends. Mm, yeah. yeah, wild taste. So pipe magazines with a title story Buccaneers of Venus by Otis Albert Klein. This is from December 1932 contained Conan's debut story as a Phoenix on the Sword. Uh, this is uh, Phoenix on the Sword is the same the same story like a cold story by this axe I roll. <laughs> yeah, this, um, the, the cold story by this axe I rule was the first version and the phoenix on the sword is a new interpretation with Conan, not with King Kyle. Robert E. Howard, Wild Tales and the Pops. Now look at this Old. Ah, here, here we have more. <laughs> Look at this beautiful old covers. Uh, all these pictures are uh, interpreted stories with Conan. Uh, this is here the Black Colossus, Queen of the Black Coast, Devil and Iron, and the people of the Black Cycle. And so this men have here the same faces and, and this is Conan. This is the uh, old interpretation of Conan in uh, year 1934 and um, this uh, babe here is, is Bailet. <laughs> yeah. Okay and um, all, all these pictures are painted and drawn by a woman and his name uh, and her name is um, Margaret um, Brondage or Brond Age or something. Oh, uh, and yes, yeah, <laughs> you can here see it. Yeah, it's Margaret Brondage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And here we have a list, a table from the. Original Conan stories. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so is it.
uh, here the jewels of Guadalupe. This is this is my lovely Conan story. My best. I find the story this is the best Conan story. So what we have here? Rooch and the house is a very good Conan story. Shadows in the Moonlight and the Devil in Iron all good stories but this one is for me the best. It can be um, I, I read this story as the first Conan comic story in the savage sort of Conan and so it can be that is is it why this is my lovely Conan story. The God and the Bowl. A little crime story with Conan. Now this, is, this is a very short story. The Veil of the Lost Woman, but, but I like it. pictures. Ah, shadows and some bola. Look at this babe. That's this damsel in distress. She has very long hair. I don't know why, but look, his, why is his long hair here? So ah, here we have Novaline Price. This is uh, this was um, a friend, uh, the, the girlfriend of Robert E. Howard, and uh, she uh, was written, uh, written, uh, written, written. Uh, you you know what I mean. She was writing a, a book of his time with Robert E. Howard, with, uh, and. Uh, for, from, from this book gives a movie. The movie was uh, The Whole Wide World with Vincent D'Onofrio and Rene Selvega. Vincent D'Onofrio as Robert E. Howard and Rene Selvega as Novaline Price. It's a very important film for Robert E. Howard fans. Red Nails. Uh, this is uh, the story with Valeria. This one here, this babe, and this damsel in distress is Valeria. Okay, and we have here the title story from Robert E. Howard with Conan, and other stories from Clark Aston Smith, Edmore Hamilton, and C.L. Moore. Edward Hamilton is the author from Captain Future. Oh, very important too. A short history of sword and sorcery. Ah, look up at this powerful picture. So only uh, one more from Frank Rosetta. Who else? And a very important person too for the Cyclos of Conan, Lion Spragui de Camp. Or Spragui de Camp. Yeah, an old interpretation of Conan.
Yeah, here. Yeah. Robert E. Howard's interpretation of Conan was only with sandals here. Yeah. Yeah, but in, in the movie and in comics, uh, Conan is wearing all about boots. But in the, in the stories, he is wearing sandals. Like this here. This little artist from Boris Vallejo, yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Frazetta, 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 Rouge in the house, Rouges, Frazetta, the frost giant's daughter, Frazetta. <laughs> Who else? Ah, <laughs> yeah, look at this. Big, powerful art. And here is young Frazetta, Frank Frazetta. The title cover. <laughs> it's so dark and powerful and uh, <laughs> Conan is so ugly. The ape man. Conan is fighting against the ape man. In the story, Rutgers in the house. Ah, he has sacrifice. As a, as a very very nice picture but this is a this is a new picture from this it gives as it gives an an older version of this and um then Frank Falsetta have over painting over painting the old version and and this is a new one and the the old uh, version the damsel uh, lay down more, more, more flat, not with this, with this whole back, lay down more flat and uh, with, not with this upstand breast. And in, in the older version, she have um, nipple caps. Yeah? Sacrifice. The cover from the Lance Conan the Avenger, yeah, here, uh, 1968. And this is uh, a repainting, this picture from 1980. This is from 1968, the original, the, the first version. And this is a new interpretation from 1980. When I find the old version, I, I show it, I show you. The Frost Giant's daughter. Wow, yeah, this here, here you can see it. This is another repainting art too. Here's the old version. Conan is working his enemies. And here you have a shield and an axe. Oh, this is a new one. Booth pictures are very good. I like all two all booth pictures. Ah, and here we come to the Marvel, yes, to the Marvel interpretations. Ah, here, Conan is climbing up 
the tower uh, by the elephant. Well, I think so. Ah, this is a very powerful comic interpretation. But I think this is inspired from this one here. Huh? Here we have a mass of enemies, like here, like this. And here I have an axe and this helm. I think this, this is the same. Good interpretation. Look at this. Oh, Conan, what is this? What can we do? Help me. What is this? Ah, this is a trick. The Comic Conan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Digitally recolor it in 2003 by Dark Horse. I like this recolored version. Red nails. Valeria Bailet. The Queen of the Black Coast. Cover by Boris Vallejo. Oh, I, I mean, Conan looks like here a little bit, a little bit like Arnie. Can it be? this powerful picture. Conan comes this way and fight against he has this way to the wizard. <laughs> Look at this huge spear and and this large stairs. I think Conan come down this way and this dark room with this pills and fight against the sorcerer. <laughs> the tower of the elephant is what I mean. Here, this is what I mean, the Tower of the Elephant. Mm. 
call them salmon. Ah, concept drawing of the thing in the crypt where Conan find the Atlantean sword. And here, I like this picture, but uh, uh, but Conan is here so ugly. But but I like this damsel in distress here in the background. Uh, she looked like babes, like uh, from Fra Frank Frazetta. Ah, here, the whole white bird. Ah, this picture is uh, from, from Mark Scholz. I like his interpretation of Conan. Look at this huge pill. It's so, so monumental, so, so monumental. Mark Schulz, Frost Giant's daughter. Nice. Nice and beautiful. Look at these covers. Out of my way! <laughs> and this is another illustration for the story beyond the Black River. <laughs> and here this is a scene from the from the movie. Maybe from the story of the first giant's daughter. Huh? Yeah. A little kraken or something. Oh. 
I have the damsel, I have the babe. No, no, please, please don't. Hey, creature. Yeah, Conan, born on the battlefield. Wolves in the woods. The wolves are dead. Conan, the role playing. The new one of this is Conan Adventures in an Age Undreamed of. I have all issues of this role-playing game, by the way. And Conan and video games. I have an art book of a Conan video game, so maybe I show it in one of the next videos. Ah, afterward on Paul M. Summon. So, my friends, this was the book Conan the Phenomenon. A very important book for every Conan and Robert E. Howard fan. We have here over 176 pages. What do you mean about this book? The commentary functions are open now for you. Please set a comment. So, I thank you for watching and remember about it. Only trust the thought.